Hi, my name is Father Columba. I want to talk to you about intercession. Intercession, what does that mean? To intercede, at least in terms of prayer, means that we ask God for somebody else or some other situation. Often I've heard it said that petition is kind of when I'm asking God for stuff for me, and then intercession is asking for stuff for other people or other situations. So it's pretty important, right? God did uh, various places in the scriptures, encourages us to intercede. It even describes in the letter to the Hebrews, there's this beautiful description of Jesus, that he is an intercessor. It says that he lives forever to make intercession for the saints. So it's this image of Jesus in heaven and he's thinking about us and he's praying for us. This thing called intercession is a beautiful thing. It's a loving thing. It's a thing of intimacy between the person interceding and God. Even regardless of the thing that's being, or the person that's being interceded for, that there's this deep, deep intimacy and connection. And of course, then intercession, asking God for things, is really powerful. And God calls us to this. Uh, this is the reality of heaven. You know, the, the intercession of the saints is it's connected to the, the teaching about the communion of saints, that we're not just kind of the holy ones, God's people here on earth, but that there's also God's people in heaven. And we also believe that God's people who, are, who have left this life and are still in the state of being purified. You know, they're at peace with God, but there's still stuff in their soul that needs to be perfected in love. We call that purgatory, but that those souls can pray for other people. So we have these saints, heaven, purgatory, and earth, they're all making, the, our, our job is to intercede, is to pray for others. It's a beautiful way to love other people, right? Well, I'm sure you've said that to somebody, you know, I'll pray for you. Uh, it's a thing many, many people have said that for me. People are, I find out, in fact, just yesterday, I found out there's, there's a fella in America who I never met before, and he's been praying for me for years. I'm like, oh, that's great. That's <laughs> great to hear. And I think we'll be surprised when, when, please God, we get to heaven, all of the people who prayed and sacrificed for us. And we'll be able to see, wow, that time when I received that grace or that time when I had that encounter, that time when something shifted for me in my vocation, my life, my work. And we'll see the reason was because somebody was praying for me. This person who had my best interests at heart, who had a love and a concern for me, and they talked lovingly to God about me. And that something happened because of it. I've seen this happen many times myself, praying for other people and for situations. One time I, I had this desire and I'd been talking to a friend about praying for the, the place I lived in. At the time I was in Derry, an area called Gallia. And there was this lady from another part of Northern Ireland and she had, uh, she would do this thing. She would walk through neighborhoods or around cities and she'd just pray, just ask God to bless like different areas. She'd kind of, she'd kind of come to a park or something and she just kind of, whatever came up in her heart, she'd just start to kind of in her heart, either just quietly in her heart or out loud, she would just start to say, God, I just thank you for this park, for the, this place of great beauty. I pray that you increase the beauty of this place. This be a place of wonderful healing and restoration for souls and hearts, that people can come here and be refreshed in their busyness of their life, that they maybe, you know, people struggling life in the city could come here and experience something of your love and your presence. She'd pray for the people coming, hey, whatever. That's just an example. I'm only making that up as I go along, but she would do that kind of thing. I had talked with her about this. I was like, oh, I would love to do that. Would you come sometime to Gallia with me? And maybe I'll see if some others will, will come with us. And we'll just walk the neighborhood and we'll just pray for it. Pray for the people, the houses, the schools, the businesses. So she did, and one other person joined us, the three of us. We walked around for an hour and a half, maybe. We saw around the neighborhood, not the whole place, but just part of it. And, and again, we would just sort of walk somewhere and then just see what popped up in our hearts. Like, oh, wow, yeah, that's, I don't know why, but this, this group of houses over here, I really 
feel, uh, yeah, I really want to pray. Can we, can we stop and pray for these houses? So then just quietly among the three of us, now it looked a bit weird, you know, three people just standing there looking at houses. <laughs> so we tried to do it in a natural way, you know, like we're having a chat with each other. But uh, I just said, God, thank you so much. Just these, these houses, these people who live here, thank you for all that's going on in there. Thank you for the children, for the, the parents, the adults, the people who are single in here. Whatever's going on, we bless the relationships. And we invite you now, Holy Spirit, to come down and fill this place, fill these people, touch their hearts and their lives, set them free. If there's anything bad going on here, any negative, any pain or suffering, we ask you, Lord, for transformation and healing in those things. That kind of thing. We just walked around randomly, you know, as we felt maybe a little nudge from God. Okay, well, let's go over this way. We walked around. And um, there was a couple of things. And, and the reason I want to share this is, well, firstly, that's a great idea. And I encourage everybody to do that, however you feel moved to do that. But some really cool stuff happened from this. So at one point, we were, and I remember where we were, this kind of this circle of houses and what came on my heart very strongly is really strange, but this image in my imagination of a group of women gathering to pray. I was like, oh, I, I said it to the other two. I said, I just have this really strong sense that God wants to bless or raise up, like to start, that someone will start a women's prayer meeting. Like that's so strange. So we, we spent a little time and just prayed, just, conversationally, like I'm talking to you right now, just like, God, God, please, you know, whoever it is, you, know, you just inspire them. If someone's got that idea in their, their heart, you just really strengthen that desire. You would you'd get, connect them with the right people and that you'd really build something beautiful here with this women's prayer meeting. So anyway, we finished that. It's just like after a while that felt like it was done. So we moved on, walked somewhere else and it was voting day, voting day. Now, voting day in Derry historically is exciting at the very least. It can be quite dangerous. Often there's rioting because of some of the history about, uh, around uh, voting and gerrymandering and, and rigged votes and stuff. So um, it can be very emotive and even violent. So we get to a place outside one of the schools where they would do their voting, uh, one of the places, and we just prayed for peace. We just prayed for the most peaceful voting day in the history of Gallia. And then we moved on once we were done. And we went back, that was us done. We, that, we barely managed to get that prayer out because we'd been walking and praying for quite a while. We went back home. So firstly was one week later, about that, one week later, I hear from one of those people who was on the walk with me that completely unrelated, she didn't say anything to anybody, that her aunt, I believe it was her aunt, said to her, do you know what? I've been thinking of starting a women's prayer group. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, you what? And I was like, yeah, it's just been this, I thought an idea just in my heart. So I talked to so-and-so and such and such. And I was thinking, would you be interested in being part of our prayer group? A woman's prayer group started right in that area. Like not in those exact houses, I don't, I don't think, but like right in that area, this beautiful women's prayer group started up and really fruitful too. Uh, I was like, whoa, the, that was just something popped in my head. That's crazy. But that wasn't all. I found out later because I, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't voting. So I wasn't like there at the voting. I wasn't out that night. I didn't see what happened on that very day of when we prayed uh, voting night. But I heard later it was the quietest, most peaceful voting they had ever seen. Usually there's kids all out on the street. They're like taking couches out in the street. It's like all sorts of stuff. The police are like, whoa. A friend of mine said like, yeah, and it's like, no, it was almost boring. Nothing happened except for people voting. Like, wow. That's amazing. Now you could say that's all a big coincidence. Do you know what I would say to that? <laughs> I would say, well, it's funny how many coincidences happen when we pray and when we intercede. Isn't that incredible? I have many, many other stories from my life of stuff like that happening. When I asked God, especially when I got together with other people 
and prayed for something and asked God what he wanted us to pray for. Because we didn't go out with any plan when we walked that neighborhood. We're just like, uh, let's go over here. Do, do, do. <laughs> what pops up, what comes up in our heart? What's the Holy Spirit? Little, little thoughts, feelings, movements of the heart that the Holy Spirit plants. We say, oh, well, do you know what? It can't hurt to pray for it. I'm not praying for anything bad, only praying for good things. So it can't hurt. Every now and again, you get to hear back something extraordinary happened. So I wanna give you a couple of pointers on how you might be able to do this, whether it's on your own or in a group. If you can do it in a group, even two people, our Lord say, said many things you know, about where, where there's agreement, you know, where two or more of you agree in my name that he will do it. That there's something really powerful when God's people say, yes, we agree and God, we say to you, yes, we think this is what you want. And we agree that it's a good thing. So we ask you to do it. And you could understand intercession actually as that. It's agreeing with God's will. And that might be a bit different from what you're expecting. Agreeing with God's will, agreeing with what God wants. That means I'm not going in with saying, God, listen, here's what you have to do. But it's discovering what it is he wants and then agreeing with him, saying, oh, that's beautiful. That's good. That's godly. That's right. And we would, yes, Lord, we, we come in agreement with that and we say yes to that. We ask you to do that. Make it so. Make it happen. It's amazing. It's a very, it's a big shift sometimes in thinking as opposed to, oh, I need more money. I'm going to say a rosary, which is a beautiful, powerful thing to do. But there's this shift and maybe you can introduce this into all areas of your life or, or your prayer life, your spiritual life, uh, or certainly you're praying for other people in other situations. Say, right, huh, how can I let God in more into my prayer? Because sometimes, sometimes I find myself praying at God. Oh, it's prayer time, I have to get my prayers done. So I open up my breveries. Breviary is the prayer that uh, priests, religious, we pray. It's got lots of psalms in there. And I, it's like, oh, I have to get this done. I've got something else coming up. It's like, <laughs> flying through the thing. And then I catch myself. I'm like, sorry, God, because I'm talking at him. I'm not talking with him. I'm not sharing my heart with him. I'm not t giving him time. I'm like, oh, you're a burden. I have to get this done, blah, 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 blah. Talking at God. That's not the best way to pray. It's, I don't like it when people talk at me. How, how might God feel? The one who deserves everything, everything. My life would be as nothing if I gave my entire life for God. That would be a mere drop in the ocean of what he deserves just for how he has blessed me, just for the gift of life. He deserves everything. And the least I can do is give him my attention my prayer. So when we pray, can we let God in a bit? Can we kind of say, okay, do you know what? I've got my plans, whatever else. I want this to be on your terms, God. I want this time to be yours. In my, and then especially in our intercession. God, how can I make this intercession more about you? First of all, I pick a topic. Now, like I said, I felt moved. That's when I heard my friend's story. It's like, yeah, would you come to my neighborhood and we'll walk the neighborhood and just pray, pray for the people, the houses, homes. Uh, so there was a, maybe a little bit of God's inspiration, but just you know, say, okay, well, Another one I used to pray with, with a group of people, was we, we'd have these healing nights in Derry and I'd get together with a small group of people once a month, right before that, uh, that healing night, and we would pray for the healing night. Very simple. It was, we knew we needed this prayer and we do it. So pick a topic, okay, if you feel inspired to pray. It could be your neighborhood, local school, uh, some ministry, your local priest, bishop, whatever, person in your family. And either do this your own or with somebody else. Now, typically what I do, uh, this is maybe a little bit different from the walking around type of prayer, but I will get together with people. I will, uh, you know, maybe in, if they don't know how to do it, give, give a little instruction. But um, so we have our topic. So let's say we're praying for Ireland, right? <laughs> That's a big topic. Praying for the island of Ireland. Now, Ireland is made up of loads of small things, all sorts of people, places and communities, everything. So it's massive. But we're, we're going to start just, I'm just going to start off by praying for the whole country. And then what I'll do is I'll pick like a subtopic. 
So after I've done an initial prayer for Ireland, I'll say, okay, Lord, let's say the leadership. Okay, I want to pray, we call it the Taoiseach in Ireland, which means the prime minister, the leader, the boss. So God, yeah, he just pops up. As I'm praying for Ireland, he pops up. So, so I'm, okay, guys, we're going to pray for the Taoiseach for a bit. Okay, so I'll start to pray for him. And it, very simply, I will, one of my three words, I bless, I thank, and I ask. Bless, thank, and ask. I usually will start with thanksgiving. I'll say, thank you, God, for the Taoiseach. At the moment, I'm not sure which Taoiseach we have. Uh, but I'll just thank, thank you, God, for this person. Thank you for them. And then I ask, God, bless them. Send your blessing, send your goodness into them, into their life, into their thinking, into their family, their relationships, their money, their job, everything. Give them wisdom, Lord God. That's not me asking. So I've thanked and I'm blessing, asking God to bless. And then I'm asking for stuff. And that's kind of the thing. Thank, bless, ask. Very, very simple, right? And I'll kind of bounce around those three for this subtopic. And then I'm kind of listening and um, I have the rest of the group, you know, just, guys, listen, if there's any image that pops in your heart, in your head, any thoughts as you're thinking about this particular topic? And this is the trick. This is the trick. Now, when you're doing this stuff, you don't want to be, I don't want to be changing the subject. So let's say the leader is talking about the Taoiseach. And then I'm like, well, I'm thinking the bishop. So I start praying about the bishop. But everybody else is talking and praying about the Taoiseach, then things get all confused. And I found when that happens, it just kind of goes flat. So what's very, very important is that we really stay united. It's helpful if maybe there's a leader, if you're doing it in a group. But if you're doing it on your own, try and stay a little bit focused. Uh, so I'll, I'll take that subtopic and I'm just going to pray for, for the Taoiseach for a little bit. And I'll be listening now, if, if some image pops in my head, as I'm, as I'm praying for him and thanking God for him. Thank you, God, for this. Thank you that this, that this Taoiseach is alive. I thank you for his schooling. You know, whatever pops in my imagination, okay? And then maybe like a funny little image will come in there or a scripture, or I'll think of a movie, or I'll think of a song lyric. Like this is, this is what happens to me when I pray. All sorts of funny things pop in my head. But if it kind of fits, I go, oh, that kind of fits. I say, funnily enough, I have an image. I think it's an image of the Taoiseach when he was a young fella just a little boy and I have this sense of him having a really like being really close to God so I don't know if that's true guys it just pops in my head but I'm just gonna try it can't hurt right you can never hurt anyone by blessing them so I say God I thank you so much if the Taoiseach whatever relationship he ever had with you maybe as a young fella I just bless that and I thank you for that and I ask you to restore that and grow that and for his relationship today, that he'll be reminded today of the relationship he used to have with you, that he'll feel your presence, your love, uh, your kindness towards him, and that he'll have a great desire. Lord, place in his heart a great desire for more connection with you, that he could again have that degree of closeness, that that's really what you want. And I'll continue like that, and then maybe somebody else in the group will have like another image. Again, we're staying on the subtopic. If they change the topic, I'll be like, you're changing the topic. Going back to the Taoiseach. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it to them. I'm like, no, no, no. Hang on, lads. That's great. Hold, we'll come back to that. We're doing the Taoiseach right now. But if they have an image, they'll share it. Do you know? And then they thank, ask, and bless. And maybe the rest of us kind of out loud, thank, ask, bless. Yes, Lord. And they say something. And then we agree. This is really actually a great thing. If someone prays something, for what we're praying on. And they say, Lord, I pray that uh, the Taoiseach has, has just a, like a great increase of, of sense of, of your presence and your love for him. It's so important that the group then agrees. It's like, yeah, that's a good thing. So they all, in their heart or out loud, hopefully it's, it's helpful in a group setting if it's out loud. They say, yes, Lord. Just that. Doesn't have to be big. Or they can say, amen. What, do we, what does that mean? It's like, let it be so. So be it. Let that happen. What they're saying is, what, what, what my brother just prayed, what my sister just prayed, Lord, I also think that's a good thing. And we're united together. God loves when God's people, when we come together as a family and we say yes, and we have this sense, we think you're asking for this, God. We think it's a great thing, it's a beautiful thing. And we say yes to that. When the group agrees, it's really powerful. But if you don't speak it out loud, it's kind of hard to know if anyone agrees. It's hard to even know if I agree. 
because I haven't said it yet. It's, it's called an act of the will. And it's, it's crucial in prayer. If we pr you're praying and you're not making acts of the will, like acts of faith, hope, love, belief, uh, acts of humility. If we're not doing that thing, we're not really giving our heart. We're not really giving our yes to things, to say, yes, God, I do believe this. So powerful. And in this context, agreeing, saying, yes, I believe this is a good thing. And I want it, God. And I believe you want it. Please, will you give this gift, this grace? Such a powerful part of our prayer. And it's a massive part of intercession. Anyway, so back to our story. So we've, we've been praying for Ireland. And then we pray for the Taoiseach for a while. And after a while, you know, no one else has kind of given a prayer or whatever. So we go, okay, I think, I think we're finished with the Taoiseach. So we'd see, do we have, still have time? We do. So we go on another time. Maybe we do, oh, the bishops. Okay, you prayed about the bishops. Let's pray for the bishops of Ireland. Great. We pray for the church in Ireland. Or whatever it is that comes up. And again, you do a similar thing. You just bless, thank, ask, however you want to structure those. And if any images come up, just share it. If a scripture, something from the Bible comes up, you could just share. I have that you know, sense of uh, Jonah, you know, some way it's related to it. And, and, and then you turn it into a prayer for this situation. And then everybody agrees out loud. They say, yes, yes. It's so powerful. Brothers and sisters, I've seen this so often. I mentioned we'd, I would gather with the group and pray for the nights of healing. Before we started this little intercession group for our nights of healing, those nights of healing were really hard. Stuff would go wrong, people would get annoyed, preaching would be meh, there wouldn't be many healings, it was a bit meh, it was so hard. And then we started this simple little group, we only did it for an hour, I was really, it was just an hour, people in, people out, done. Friday nights at the healing night were completely different. I'm sure you could share stories of the stuff that you've prayed about, that it's really, really changed. I just want to encourage you, and I, hopefully some of those things that I've given you, those little tools, might be helpful for your prayer life, for your intercession life. I encourage you to do this, not just for yourself, not just for your family, but for your nation, for the world, for the church. I hope that's helpful. God bless you. Ten years of sharing the peace of Christ. Shalom World, God's own channel.